Look at what we're doing here. So this is a new, um, this is just the same as mine. But these are going to the Flagstaff house today. So no matter what, I've told these guys that they don't finish these cars, I'm gonna <laughs> start popping some bottles on some people's head. Okay. Hey, PJ. PJ, PJ. What did they watch? So these are the little cars that have been parked here. So you can see the size difference. This is the K, Kataka K71. And if you look at the size of it, it's very, it's a bit bigger than these small ones. I mean, Ghanaians are gonna love these cars. I tried one a few days ago and I filled the tank, I think without with 150 CDs or so. And it took me to uh, Chakradi and back. And I still took the vehicle to Accra and it's fantastic. It's really, really fantastic. So that's the one that I, I own personally. So I have something that I want to show you guys today. It's uh, an Aboboya. So if you have a look at it, this is an electric Aboboya. These are new models that I'm also trying to introduce on, into the market as well. So let's just have a quick view of how the automobile plans. We are still doing expansion, expansion, expansions here. So this is the testing line. There's the water line. That's the treatment pool. That's the spraying line. The spraying line has, has also uh re received a few uh, expansion adjustments to the building since we are increasing our production so we'd we'll have a look at a few things there as well i mean the guys there are really working the whole place is, is scattered because of um, the expansion millions and millions of dollars has been um invested into this project okay so uh, this is the old spray line that we are seeing here. This is the old spray line that we're seeing here. And this is the new one. Still have a lot of work to do here. Still have a lot of work. Hello. Still have a lot of work to do here. So this is a typical spraying place where you can see she's not spraying at the moment. So she's not properly dressed for has spraying stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so there's a car that they've sprayed. So they are, it's being, it's receiving uh, final checks to see if there are no drops on the vehicle and all. So that's what they're doing now. We are, and this is an oven that you see the extension they see here. This is also oven, oven for spraying booths as well. People are checking all their parts and sorting to make sure everything is there. These are all part of the branding of Kantanka Automobile. So I'm giving, going to give you a review of how work is being done at the plant. So this is what we have here. So this area, uh, the people who are normally um, here are mechanics we have um how do you call them the mechanics and we have the interior guys the exterior guys the ac um guys who install the ac and there's a place that we do testing on the vehicles as well so look at how beautiful these cars are lined up oh so if you want to ask a question we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten cars a day that we can uh, actually work on at this plant if we want to expand it over here maybe in the near future means maybe we would have to be increasing the number or doubling up the number from 10 to 20 means 20 cars a day times 30 30 um, that's the number of days we have in a month or 31 so basically this man we see here He's a multi-talented utility player. He works at the... I've never seen a macho man who... who, who who's on it. Macho man was an electrical engineer. Macho man. You're on Facebook Live. You're on Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Aho! Oh, what's your shape? Nice one, nice one. Nice. So we're working on our 
chassis here as we can see to run our vehicles to take away anyone who tries to steal anything from Kantanka Automobile. So the machine is writing all these things here. And this guy you see here is also a hardened criminal. He was in, in someone's prisons a few days ago. We had to beg the government to bring him here. I'm kidding, he's not a criminal. I know by now his girls on Facebook or um, Instagram are watching him. Quite, he has a quite a number of girls actually. Yeah. Still, we, we, we don't know where he comes from, whether he's... Uh, anyway, I think we will go on. I've never seen any factory that has a lot of macho men like this before in Ghana. So, yeah, basically I will take you to the last place we have at the plant. Where at this plant, we, we, this is where we do testing. So the testing line that I showed you guys earlier on is there. But this testing here is a rain test. So after the vehicle is fixed, we need to make sure that everything, all the parts that we welded, all the parts that rubbers were put there, there's no leakage of water or anywhere. So this you see here is a testing line where there are so many, many shower outputs where water comes from. And the pressure that goes in or that comes out of the water is really high. Just to make sure that Sebi, so oh well the idea now, if you want something and maybe there's a small leakage or something, it will it would actually present itself when you put the cars here. So water comes from this side of the the testing line, this side as well. The top part and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guys want to um, do a display and let you guys see um, how the water comes out, so that you know that when you buy a car from Kantanka Automobile, durability, safety is one of the company's number one priority. We don't want cars to go out for people to know or people to feel that oh um this car that is coming now in short crap no 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 there's nothing like when it rains you're gonna have any effect from the rain no when it rains you don't have any problem i mean you're safe so in a few minutes time the water is going to come out from this shower um ports and you would see but as i always say at kantanka automobile safety as a number one priority so in a few minutes let's go so there we go so this is how the water comes out in a few minutes to come everything will come out so you see here yeah. so imagine being if you put in a, your car in this there are so many cars in ghana that when you put them under this kind of condition they will fail but these cars are still being sold on our roads you understand me just because somebody looks at how much the person is going to make small money somebody could chop so they'll put they'll bring this car out and sell it sell it on the market but at kantanka automobile we don't do that we make sure that in a very tropical zone area like ghana we need to check for all these things to make sure so looking at the 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 size of the vehicle we can also maybe turn some of these shower ports out and focus on the main area so now the reason why the the front part of the shower system is working is we are testing it on the pickups to make sure the pickups that is where you know the, the back of the pickup doesn't need any rain testing but the front part of the pickup needs rain testing to make sure that everything is working on fine you understand yes so um yep 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 yep, yep. So, we're done for today. Every single day or once in a while, random, we'll pick a day and have a tour. Walk with Kojo Safo Akofina. This is the new thing I want to do now. So, we're going to have a single, every step-by-step -step journey of how the vehicles are made. Just to kill all kinds of questions that we customers or Ghanaians or concerned citizens I do ask ourselves. Bye bye. Take care guys.